My name is Maury Ingram, and I'm the president and CEO of the Whatcom Community Foundation. The origins of, of Project Neighborly really came out of the divisiveness of the last presidential election. And our executive committee was meeting, and one of our executive committee members came to the meeting and said, you know, we've got the election coming up in a couple of weeks, and no matter what happens, about half the people that live in this community are gonna be pretty unhappy. And so he asked our favorite question at the Community Foundation, which is, what could the Community Foundation do about that? And so we spent a little time thinking about that question and came up with the idea of really asking everybody in Whatcom County, not just the nonprofit organizations who always come up with great ideas, but really everybody who's just walking around the streets and fields of Whatcom County to think about what they could do uh, to make this a, a safer, kinder, more neighborly place to be for everybody. We weren't sure when we invited the applications whether people would tackle contentious issues, whether they would start with some really basic opportunities to get to know their neighbors. Um, and we got a little bit of everything, which was great. Uh, one example is in the South Fork Valley, they created a series called Know Your Neighbor. And they invited panels of people. They did five or six events and invited diverse groups of folks that live in the South Fork to come and just talk a little bit about life and, and life for them in the community. And what was so great about it is that we're all a bit curious, but often we're, we're uncomfortable asking questions about what somebody's life is like. What's it like to be a programmer that works for a company that's maybe based in Seattle, but you live in the middle of a rural area in Whatcom County? Or what's it like to be a farmer in the 21st century? And the, the connections that neighbors have been able to make out there as a result has been incredible. We had more than 60 applications, and we were able to fund about half of those. Uh, one of my favorites is the very smallest grant that we funded, and it was for $362. And it funded a pen pal project on Lummi Island. And the reason that it happened is because there are a number of folks who've lived on Lummi Island for generations, and there are newer families, many of them with young kids, and those two groups don't really have a lot of ways to connect. And they had a chance not only to correspond for a while, but then to meet um, one afternoon together and the relationships that spark are just incredible. Neighborliness is really just thinking about the fact that we all share this place and figuring out what we can do to be better, uh, better to each other on a really basic level because we're really trying to, when it comes right down to it, knit together a tighter community so that everybody feels connected, everybody feels welcome here, everybody feels like this is a safe place for them to be. My favorite thing about Project Neighborly is that whether you apply or not, you can take the idea and apply it in your daily activities with your family, with your neighbors. Just reach out. In five years, I hope that everybody in this community has a Project Neighborly idea, and I hope that everybody in the community is already feeling like things are a lot more neighborly.